Hello, this is Victor. I am here with a new tactical talk. It's been for a while that I haven't done any of them, but I think it's good to talk about a unit that I just paint, that is the, the Psyker Battle Squad from the Imperial Guard. The picture you can see, the unit I paint for my Renegade, Renegade Guardians, but I'm here to talk more about the tactical point of it. So, first of all, let us review a little bit what the tactical squad can do. So, tactical squad is a psyker uh, unit with broad brotherhood you and psyker rule, and it has two powers. One that is called soul storm, that is a shooting power with thirty six inches range that have a strength equal to the number of psychers in the unit. AP is a D6 and is a type of assault and large blast. So to be efficient with that power, you need a lot of psychers in the unit to be able to have a good strength. And even in that point, I think that the variability of the AP that is a D6 is making this power much less efficient than it, it deserves. So yeah, if you have a very good role on the on the AP, you can go for for high harmored units. But if you fail on that role, yeah, it doesn't matter how many psychers you have in the unit, you will not damage these terminators or space marines. So it is a good power if you are fighting against orcs or units with or light infantry. But I will not recommend this power when you fight against marines. The other power that this unit have, and I think this is much better than the previous one, although it's not a direct damage, is we can resolve. So how it works is have a range of 36 inches, you target an enemy unit and this enemy unit will suffer a penalty in the in the leadership equal to the number of psychers in your unit. So I see two ways to use this power. The first way, way is to combine this with another cycle with telekinesis. So first you uh, target an enemy unit with this power and later on you use the primary power of telekinesis to create a number of wounds equal to 3d6 minus leadership. If you have reduced the leadership of your enemy to 3 or 4, for example, then uh, you roll 3d6, normally the average is between 10 and 11, so you will cause directly from 6 to 7 wounds to an enemy unit without any type of armor save except invulnerable save. So this can be quite devastating for heavy, um, for monstrous creatures or even for terminator infantry. But I think this is not the only way to use this power. And the problem is, when you combine this with telekinesis, the power of telekinesis has very short range. It's only 12 inches. So you need a primary psyker with tel uh, telepathy or a marine psyker with telepathy too close to the target. And this is making the power a little bit less efficient. But another way to use this power is, especially in the case of enemies that are waiting for you at the back of the field, of the back of the battlefield. The best is you throw this power, you reduce the leadership, and then you cause enough casualties to make them roll for leadership. If they are close to the border, they will run out of the border, and then you will eliminate a unit quite easily. Imagine a unit of 10 devastators or 10 tactical marines waiting at the back you throw this power, you reduce the leadership to two or three easily, and then you cause a three or four casualties and the unit will run out of the board easily. We also have to look the cost of, of points in that unit. The cost of points is 60 points for four psychers plus the overseer. So in the case that you want to be more efficient, I will recommend to add at least three psychers more. So in that order, you can make a penalty of seven on in the leadership of your enemies 
and this, in case you want to shoot the template, you will have a straight seven. If you increase the numbers to seven cycles, the unit will cost 90 points, and I think it's quite cheap for the synergies that you can find in the shooting phase. So combining this reduction of leadership plus causing a small number of casualties and make the enemy squad run away from you. So if I use this unit, definitely I will prefer to use the second power to reduce the leadership on the on the enemy units and well used. You can make run out of the board or put in a bad position some expensive enemy units. So that's all what I wanted to share in that video. I hope I have put some new tactics on you or I don't know if you have used this, these tactics on, on the Psyker squad before. Please share, comment. I will appreciate your feedback if you think that this is useful, not useful or, or you see that is completely useless unit. Like if you like it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again later. Bye.